Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Eucharist coming together as God's family to receive Jesus, the bread of life. And so as we begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did. For through the healing paschal remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working with great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called Synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians and Alexandrians, 
and people from Cilicia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses who testified, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarenean will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they had eaten the bread, when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, 
But because you ate the loaves and were filled, do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on Him the Father, God, has set His seal. So they said to Him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one He sent. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was talking to the people whom he fed. The thousands of people whom Jesus fed with bread. The miracle of the feeding of the 5,000. And these people were still looking for Jesus. But Jesus was teaching them something especially in our gospel passage today, Jesus tells them to look not only for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. Si Jesus na pinakain ang mga libo-libong tao ay lalo pang pinalalim yung kanilang karanasan ng pagtanggap ng pinapay pagkain mula kay Jesus. What a beautiful way of teaching. After feeding them with bread, after filling up their hunger, their physical hunger, Jesus is now going deeper into the experience of being fed by Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, I hope that every Eucharistic celebration, every Mass that we are attending, even if you are uh, watching this online, I hope that every experience of the Eucharist is an experience also of being fed by Jesus. Not only feeding with physical bread, but more importantly, food that eternally endures. And in every Eucharistic celebration, Jesus teaches us about being fed by Him. Not by food that perishes, but we are being fed by Jesus of God's Word. We are being fed God's Word. Sa bawat pagdiriwang po natin sana ng Misa, na kayo po ay nanonood through online, sa bawat pagdiriwang ng misa na ating uh, pinupuntahan, na ating pinapanood through online, tandaan po sana natin na pinapalalim ni Jesus ang karanasan ng pagbibigay ng pagkain. Na ang pagbibigay sa atin ng pagkain, ang karanasan natin ng pagkain ay sana hindi lamang manatili sa pagiging busog sa katawan, kundi ang sabi ni Jesus, busogin din sana natin ang ating buhay para sa buhay na walang hanggan. Just a few days ago, there were uh, many community pantries that sprung up in different places wishing to feed the people, wishing to feed one another, a beautiful project, a beautiful endeavor. 
isa pong napakagandang gawain nito na tayo ay magpakain, magbahagi, pakainin ang bawat isa. Lalo na po sa panahon ngayon na marami ang hirap sa buhay, marami ang nawalan ng trabaho at nahihirapan sa pangkain ng kanilang pamilya. Ito po ay napakagandang proyekto na sana bawat isa sa atin ay mayroong maibahagi kung ano man ang makakayanan natin. Pero parang napakagandang kasabay basahin noong ating ebanghelyo ngayong araw na ito. Na pagkatapos ng karanasan natin na magpakain, magbahagi, pagkatapos ng karanasan natin na maaring kumuha din doon at kumain, pinapalalim naman ni Jesus ngayon yung karanasan ng pagpapakain at pagkain natin. Ang tinuturo ni Jesus, hanapin din sana ang pagkain na nagbibigay buhay, hindi lamang sa katawan, kundi sa ating kaluluwa, sa ating puso at isipan. Walang iba kundi si Jesus. I hope that in this experience of being able to feed others, and also the experience of being fed by others, we would also look for the food, not only that nourishes our body, but the food that nourishes our soul, no other than Jesus Christ. In our first reading today, we hear the experience of Stephen of being persecuted because he was a follower of Jesus. But we see here that when he was presented to the people, to the leaders, according to our first reading, the Sanhedrin looked at him intently and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Their experience of listening to Stephen, their experience of even just looking at Stephen, it was an experience not just of looking physically, but when they looked, they saw Jesus. They saw the face of an angel. They saw holiness. My dear brothers and sisters, in every experience that we have, may we see the presence of Jesus. May we be nourished spiritually by Jesus. In experience of feeding, of sharing, may we see Jesus working. Marami nga pong nagsasabi na sa mga community pantries na ito na nararanasan nilang magbigay, nararanasan nila at nakikita nila na marami ang nagbibigay at marami rin ang nakakakain. Many people are inspired. They see Jesus working in these efforts to feed one another. I hope, my dear brothers and sisters, that these experiences would not just remain in the physical level, but these experiences might touch our hearts, inspire our minds and in our hearts, inspire us to conversion, to renewal, and most especially, may these experiences lead us to encounter Jesus to see Jesus and allow Jesus to feed us and nourish us to eternal life. In this celebration of the Mass, later on, we will go to the table of the Eucharist. And even though you cannot physically receive communion at this moment, later on, as you pray, the spiritual communion 
let us hunger for the bread given by Jesus. A bread that nourishes us spiritually, nourishes our whole person. Let us hunger for Jesus Christ. Amen. Only God the Father can satisfy the hunger of the heart and of the spirit, so we bring our needs before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may awaken in her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize that the longings of the heart cannot be satisfied by the pursuit of worldly success or material comfort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who spend their time uselessly searching the, for joy and happiness in the wrong way may find the right direction in life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be united with Christ in the new life of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, 
but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, letate, Alleluia. Ia quereruis ti portare, Alleluia. Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.